Hi guys, Tracy here with another really quick layout that I did. This one only took me about an hour and I used a sketch from this book called Creative Scrappers Creating with Sketches Volume 2 and uh, it is by Christine Davidson and so there's just a couple of shots of the book in case you want to pick it up. It's on her website, uh, which is right there. I'll put that in the <laughs> information. Um, and this is the sketch that I've decided to use. And I'm turning it upside down because I want the title over on the left. And uh, this it was inspired by these two pictures of my daughters wearing their fashion glasses um, and also the hipster glasses wood veneer that came in the hipster collection from Basic Grey. Um, these are all papers from the Studio Calico kit and I've already cut into most of them. These are all my favorite papers and so I've already cut up most of them but I really wanted to bring this color combination together again with the blues, the two different shades of blue and then the red as the accent. So I'm going to start by using this as my background paper. This is called Dots and Loops and it's by Studio Calico. It came in the kit. And uh, then I have all of these other scraps from other... Actually, I don't think this one is a scrap. Um, this is Dear Lizzie from the Lucky Charm collection, one of my favorite papers from that collection. And so I'm just uh, cutting a large rectangle out of that one. And then I'm going to cut another more horizontal rectangle out of this one, which is from Crate Paper. It's called it's from the Peer collection. And now um, I already had some cut into this piece of paper so I'm just kind of working with what I've got left and I use my ruler to tear it just so it has a bit more interest. And um, I'm going to make it smaller still so that it's more of a mat I guess for the photos but it's got a little bit of extra showing because I love this paper so much I didn't want to cover it all up. So now I'm looking at uh, how I might use this diagonal red paper. I'm going to cut it, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Yes, I'm going to end up turning it around and using more of the solid side of it. So I'm using my square punch, which I've marked the center on all four sides, and it just helps me line up for cutting banners. So I just cut it a little bit shorter so it doesn't stick out the other end. And this is a Stampin' Up! stamp. It's just a whole bunch of glasses and uh, I'm going to use, I was going to stamp it in black and then I thought that would be way too much contrast. Uh, I didn't want it to compete too much with the other pattern papers that are here and so um, I just stamped it using Versa, Versa Mark ink which is a sticky gluey ink and uh, I'm just using my clear embossing powder. I don't emboss nearly enough. I have all the supplies for it but I rarely use embossing so I'm trying to you know do some of the things that I haven't done in a long time. I used to emboss all the time on layouts but I've gotten a little lazy so I just use my heat gun to warm that up. It just melts the little plastic crystals and forms a, a um, clear surface. And now to make that stick out, um, stand out, to make the uh, glasses pattern stand out a little bit more, I just chose a color of Mr. Huey's uh, that is really close to the color of the paper. It's just a tiny, tiny bit darker. It's called Overdue. It's by Mr. Huey's. And so um, you see that that makes a really subtle glasses pattern. I didn't want it to be too overly themey, so I just wanted to have, you know, something besides the wood veneer that was glasses. So I'm going to outline these papers. I just use my Stampin' Up! grid paper to do that and I use the same piece all month. Usually like usually by the end the month is pretty um, arbitrary but uh, usually by the end of the month it's marked up enough uh, that I need to change to a new one. And I've also left my uh, little craft mat out too. That's a heat proof uh, waterproof mat for using messy things. I don't use messy things very often anymore so I don't get to use that very much. So there's my layout coming together and you'll notice I'm really following the sketch very very closely. I'm not um, being creative at all with this sketch which uh, you know that's the beauty of sketches is you can either use them as they are or you can get creative and change them around a little bit. So besides flipping it on its like upside down um, I'm pretty much following this sketch very closely. What that does is it allows me to um, squeeze this layout in. I had to pick up my kids from the bus stop and I just wanted to get one more layout in. So I wanted to do this one pretty quick and using a sketch really helps with that. 
So these are basic gray vellum stickers. They're kind of like washi. They're terrible like washi. Um, terrible. I'm, that sounded like I said terrible. <laughs> you are able to tear them. <laughs> um, so I'm just, I knew I wanted to put, the, the sketch has a little tiny journaling strip up there and I wanted to follow that. So, uh, but I wanted to put a layer there as well. So I just uh, put a piece of that um, basic gray vellum <laughs> uh, behind my little journaling strip there, which is from my mind's eye. It's just from my stash. It's one of those banner stickers. So now these are actually from the Citrus Twist kit. Most of the things you've seen so far are from the Studio Calico kit and a couple things from my um, stash. The basic gray vellum uh, strips are, by the way, from Studio Calico. Now these letters are from um, Alison Kreft, the Color and Composition collection from Webster's Pages, and they came in the Citrus Twist kit. And now I wa really want to put the word glasses in these wood veneer letters, uh, but I, I need three S's and I can only find one. So I, um, it takes me a while to realize that there just isn't two more. There just aren't two more S's. So um, I'm going to put the, all those away and choose another um, set of letters for the word glasses. So those color and composition letters that say fashion um, are, I just wanted to wait until I put the letters in place before I taped the banner down because I wanted the banner to go just a teensy bit further than the letters and so it would depend on what size my letters were. Um, anyways, those letters are from the Citrus Twist Kit. That whole sheet of stickers is from the Citrus Twist Kit from the April Kit which I think was called Playland. Now I'm looking in my stash of small letter stickers and I'm looking for some tile stickers. So mostly October afternoon mini markets are what I usually use. Pulled out a couple of different blue ones that match my color scheme and I ended up going with these mini market ones that are blue letters on a cream tile. And I chose tile stickers because I knew that they'd be going over a fairly bold pattern paper that that bold stripe and so I wanted them to be able to show up. These are my flare badges and I keep them on a magnetic um, page that's from Spellbinders. I think it's for or Quick Cuts. It's for storing your um, nestabilities or those sorts of things on. Um, it's not all that magnetic so I have to actually glue them down but they they pop off really easily so that's how I keep them. Now I'm just layering a bunch of circles. I have a Martha Stewart gold label um, and then I put one of those color and composition love, the, the love stickers from color and composition and then I just use pop dots to, to layer that whole thing over a um, Dear Lizzie uh, Lucky Charm sticker. Picked out that Hello Flare badge from my collection. Um, that's from Life in Bits and Pieces. It's up there by the journaling strip. And now this is an Echo Park label sticker that I'm going to label layer a couple of other things. I have that Lucky Charm kind of navy bluish sticker. And then that uh, little camera journaling sticker uh, with the camera on it is left over from last month's basic gray kit um, stickers that came in the Studio Calico kit. Thought about using this arrow and then I decided to put it back. So I'm not really loving that lower cluster. It's okay. I don't love it though. And then I'm kind of toying with the idea of putting a couple of layered stickers up in the corner here, but I'm not going to end up doing it. So I'm just gluing down that Hello Flare Badge from Life in Bits and Pieces. Thought about putting some um, resin stars that came in the Studio Calico kit, but I'm not in love with them. They seem too bulky and big for this particular layout. I do like them, but not on this layout. Uh, then I'm also toying with adding some more stickers and then I just decided to go with a little assortment of circular shapes up here in the top, which is really what the um, sketch calls for. Like that's that's how the sketch is. So I just decided to stick with the sketch instead of doing something of my own there. So I'm just, um, I'm using those Amy Tangerine puffy stickers, my mind's eye enamel dots, and layers of circular stickers and flare badges in order to do the kind of little array of uh, circular embellishments. In the sketch it's a combination of circles and stars, but I'm just doing circles on my layout. And I don't want them to 
stray off too far from the layout. I want them kind of pretty tight into the into the layout. Oh, I do put stars in. Those are Studio Calico stickers, and they don't come off the page very well. They're not cut properly, um, so you, you kind of have to tear them off the page. And if I were more fussy about it, I would probably need to trim them up with my scissors, but you can't really tell. So I'm using one more of those basic gray vellum stickers behind the uh, the wood veneer glasses, which are also from Basic Gray. Going to put a tiny bit of journaling down here in the corner. It says, although you don't need glasses, you both love your fashion glasses. Um, I'm going to use um, glossy accents to glue down some of those uh, sequins that came in the Studio Calico kit. They're just like a bronze color or a copper color. They're not quite gold. And now I'm just going to add a couple of more enamel dots to the love sticker just to give it a little bit more dimension. Putting some stuff away and now I'm looking for a roller date stamp um, to use on that upper little embellishment or journaling embellishment. I end up just putting the date with my regular date stamp and I just stamped it a couple of times to fill up the space. Adding a couple more enamel dots just to finish it off and some pop dots under that banner. I thought about putting that stamp there under the love um, circle embellishment but I decided not to. Added one enamel dot to the heart in the word hello on that Life in Bits and Pieces flare badge. The other flare badges by the way are from the Dear Lizzie uh, um, Lucky Charm collection and one of them you'll see in a second. I put either stickers or enamel dots on all of the flare badges. That so that's a Studio Calico sticker on that Dear Lizzie flare badge right there that you see. There's an enamel dot on the Hello flare badge from Life in Bits and Pieces. Um, and then I'll, you'll see the other one in a second. So on this flare badge there is a um, Maggie Holmes word sticker and an enamel dot. There you get to see just the little cluster of uh, stickers and enamel dots and those Amy Tangerine puffy stickers as well from the um, Yes Please collection. And there's the title and you see that the uh, glasses pattern on that on that banner is quite subtle. You can really only catch it in the sun, in the light. So thanks for watching you guys. Take care and have a really good scrappy week.